Magnesium deficiency causes a multitude of issues, from sleep problems to depression to medical issues and more. Today I'm sharing seven things you need to know about magnesium. I'm Dr. Nishi Bhopal. I'm a board-certified physician specializing in integrative psychiatry and sleep medicine. What is magnesium? Magnesium is an essential mineral obtained through diet. It's the fourth most abundant mineral in the human body after calcium, sodium, and potassium. Magnesium is important for a variety of different functions in the body. It's important for muscle and nerve health. It's important for bone health. It helps to keep blood sugar levels stable. It helps to regulate blood pressure. It's involved in over 300 different biochemical reactions in the body. Nearly 70% of American adults do not receive enough magnesium in the diet. Deficiencies in magnesium can cause issues with sleep, anxiety, depression, and metabolic diseases. Some health conditions and certain types of medications can cause low levels of magnesium. It's thought that chronic stress can also contribute to low levels of magnesium. And most of us are under some form of stress in this day and age, especially as we're all going through this global pandemic. Most of us are not getting enough magnesium-rich foods in our diet, like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Even if you are eating a well-balanced diet, you might not be getting enough magnesium from your food. It's thought that modern farming practices are depleting the soil of essential minerals. Magnesium is important for sleep. One of its functions is to maintain levels of GABA, a neurotransmitter that is important for calming the nervous system and helps to promote sleep. Magnesium is also involved in the production of melatonin, a hormone that promotes and regulates our sleep-wake cycles. Research has shown that taking magnesium helps to reduce the amount of time it takes to fall asleep, improve sleep quality, and improve daytime functioning. Magnesium helps to enhance the body's parasympathetic response, or the rest and digest state and reduce the effects of chronic stress. It's also been shown to increase heart rate variability, which is a marker of how well your body adjusts to stress. Low levels of magnesium have been associated with depression, and research is ongoing into the use of magnesium in the treatment of depression. Magnesium helps with energy levels. It's required for the production of ATP, which is an energy source for the body. Getting enough magnesium can help maintain energy levels and prevent excessive tiredness. Deficiencies in magnesium can cause fatigue and even reduced exercise capacity. Some studies have shown that supplementation with magnesium can improve exercise capacity and reduce fatigue in athletes and non-athletes alike. How do you make sure you're getting enough magnesium? One way is through diet. Getting it from food sources is best. Foods that are rich in magnesium include nuts, seeds, legumes, and leafy greens. Whole grains also contain magnesium. A couple of examples of meals that would be rich in magnesium. So one would be a quinoa bowl with spinach and Swiss chard and kale and pumpkin seeds. Another would be a quesadilla with black beans and avocado, all of which are rich in magnesium. For reasons I mentioned earlier, you might not be getting enough magnesium even if you're eating a well-balanced diet. Do talk to your doctor before starting any supplements. In supplement form, magnesium citrate, glycinate, and threonate are best absorbed. Dosing on average is about 300 milligrams a day, give or take, but this will depend on your individual needs and medical conditions, if you're taking any medications and so forth. So do consult with a licensed healthcare practitioner about your needs and any additional need for supplementation. Too much magnesium can cause GI upset like diarrhea, nausea, and abdominal cramping. You can also consider bathing in magnesium or in Epsom salts. Epsom salts are actually magnesium sulfate. We don't have a lot of research on how much magnesium is actually absorbed through the skin during an Epsom salt bath, but Epsom salt baths are a great way to uh, relax your muscles, to alleviate sore and painful muscles, to reduce stress, and to help with sleep. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also sign up for my weekly newsletter for more bite-sized tips on well-being. The link to the newsletter is in the video description and is also available on my website at intrabalance.com.